physically and then emotionally. And with the hair being lopped off, it makes just some of the weight of the world of expectations lopped off as well. Moving on from high school to college, is here is Adonai Mitchell, the transfer from Georgia, who they love because of his ability to make critical plays late. Recent vintage, 15 in a row as well. He's 28 straight. Back up till 1993. Quinn Ewer is uncorks a deep ball to nobody home. Protector and left tackle in in the run game. He didn't give up a sack. But up defensively today, but offensively out of sorts. Pressure again. And incomplete. It's again. Right, you're going to see the late stunt here, and it's just some of the communication. Right? You've got two. You got a back chipping on an end. You've got a free runner coming. I mean, that's not seven or eight guys. That is five guys with six in protection. You have got to communicate, extend plays with your legs and your eyes still downfield for six. Sanders in motion. Ewer is to throw down the middle. And an on Mitchell touchdown. About some uh, sweet feet. There were some sweet feet on the outside, but look at all of these defenders for Rice. The heavy, heavy run action. Just a one man route out there. And that one on one on the playground and for Adonai Mitchell, and that's what he wants to be called. No longer throws it 80 yards. And then just trying, just pressing, right? Just wanting to do a little bit too much and say, oh, the game come to you. Years off his back forehead, and he throws it up for Mitchell. That is incomplete. One bit of nitpicking today. It is going to be these throws with air yards beyond 20, 25 yards. You can hear the remaining hometown faithful. That's a penalty. That defensive back is certainly there early. Lamont Narcisse getting into the body and impacting Mitchell's opportunity. Texas in the red zone. Another area they need to improve from a year ago. On the trick play, Adonai Mitchell makes a cut and bangs downfield. Loses the ball. It came out at the end. That ball out. He'll come in late. Malachi Moore right there. He's actually Moore ends up getting it. Downs hits him, but I think it was Malachi Moore's left hand that got on that football. Very fortunate for in group. Tip of the cap for holding up on third down. And Worthy, it's a backwards pass. He can throw it. Launching downfield. Contested balls are a flag. Yes. Terry and Arnold was defending. Adonai Mitchell just grabbed the jersey. Downfield in a hurry. It's 6-4. Pass interference, defense number three. It's a 15-yard penalty. It is first down. Such a focus on penalties for Alabama a year ago. 15 in the escape at Austin, most in the Saban era. Yeah, lateral, so he can throw this ball. And if you look close, you'll see, without a doubt, Arnold started to feel threatened. He does a good job right there. He grabs onto that jersey, and he does it again. And again, he held onto that for about 10 or 15 yards. I said that because that probably won your coach to do good. He did. Meanwhile, another crucial situation for you was to take care of the football down here. They're going to throw it on first down. They launch it one-on-one. -on -one. Going up to make the catch is Adonai Mitchell. How about yours? How about start calling this? Throws the football up in the air and over top of the corner. Great job. Goes at their best TV. Yours. Oh, they stuck a man wide open, and it's Sanders. Eludes a man. Oh. Today. That's great. U.S. Tennis. The teenager wins her first major. I think it to Brooks. Yours looking across the middle, and it's incomplete. Night for Arnold, right? I mean, he's made some plays, and he's made some mistakes. This time, he... Does a good job of reacting once that ball's in the air. Time. Ewers has time, but it's incomplete. Try to get it to Mitchell in heavy traffic. Now it's fourth and two. Behind for the first time tonight, facing a second and seven. Ewers. He takes a downfield shot. And ball falls to the ground. There's a flag as Mitchell was going out there and just got grabbed in coverage. The second time we've seen Arnold just hold on after Mitchell's gotten behind him. Like I said, it's been an up and down night for Terry and Arnold. Pass interference on the defense, number three. 15-yard penalty. Result, first down. 
see so many of these because a 15 yard penalty is a lot better than what probably would have happened if he hadn't grabbed the receiver. Yeah, he loses his balance, but again, he's holding on to that jersey. Fifty yard chunk sets up first and goal. Play fake. Ewers. Slant. Touchdown, Mitchell. What a response by Texas. The freshman who's going to be a superstar. He has his eyes in the backfield. What I love here is watch Ewers wait for the right time. Let him clear the freshman, and he throws it right behind him for that touchdown. Back to work. And it's really showing tonight. Ewers in the pocket, watching downfield. Mitchell. Touchdown, Texas! Aggression and execution. 39 yards. Wow. Haymakers. And how he handles things again. He's reading this safety. Downs. He's got receivers underneath that impact the safety. So he knows again. We saw this earlier on the left side. This time they go to the right. Creates a one on one. Second and 15, Ewers quick pass and behind A.D. Quick out, A.D. Mitchell staying up. By Steve Sarkeesian to convert on fourth down. Gonna play action, and that is complete to A.D. Mitchell. Third and nine, inside the 50, the Texas offense. Another clean pocket for Ewers, and this is open for A.D. Mitchell. Left out at the 16, so second down and six. Ewers downfield, got a receiver open, caught at the 32-yard line for, from Georgia. Offensive line like a brick wall there protecting Quinn Ewers. Brought it out of three years of junior college. Empty set for Ewers on second and long. Wide open across the middle of the field is Adonai Mitchell. And he has a first. He was. And boy, he has grown as a leader. Talk with Jalen Ford yesterday. This team, they're all in behind their quarterback. Going down to try to grab that was Mitchell. Very excited about those guys. And still just scratching the surface of what they're capable of as Mitchell takes a little swing pass up the sidelines for another first down. Beautifully the last two weeks. They come up to the line quickly. Ewers over the middle. Caught first down. Still calls the plays, and he's one of the very best in all of football at it. Ewers to midfield, just a yard shy. It's Mitchell again. On standpoint, they don't have ridiculous depth, so challenging that early with tempo. They bring pressure, does Kansas. Ewers on target. First down to the 30-yard line. Mitchell. They're averaging 14 yards per play. Ewers off the hand of his intended receiver. Get there for Quinn Ewers. They're on the move again and deeper into the playbook. Mitchell chased out of bounds, got a late shove. Take a look at just how late it was. It does look obviously like the shove occurred in the field of play, of course, yeah, the result of the sideline. Started there. Might have fell. Ewers the fake. Given plenty of time, has his man. It's Mitchell again. Chopped down at the 33 by Kobe Bryant. This is a really nice round. You see the stack right there. The way they kind of time up when the guy runs through and A.D. Mitchell just sitting it down there on the time. Absolutely. Texas will get the ball to open the second half. Ewers, Mitchell! First down. You got to think, too, maybe you heat him up a little bit, see if you can't knock him out of field goal range with the pressure. Fake the inside handoff. Ewers intercepted for the first time in forever. Another big play. He's right here, lined up at the number three. I mean, he's your third down go-to guy, especially against zone coverage. Third down and three. Texas has not punted today. Over the middle. Good catch by Mitchell. And he gets the first down. Take a look to see whether or not that ball was fumbled. Starting to move a little bit as he's going to the ground, but it looked like that right knee was down before he actually lost control. J.B. Brown the play for the Kansas defense. Six for 90. Brad Nye Mitchell. 
Another good pocket, another lofty pass down the field, incomplete. They get close enough to try a field goal and take a two-score lead. Ewers flushed, back over the middle, nice catch by Mitchell. He's a much better player this year, with a lot of talent around him. Third and eight, end zone, touchdown! Mitchell. Great job by Quinn Ewers. He keeps his eyes to the right-hand side. He sees that corner stay shallow, which gives him plenty of room to work. Big six-foot-five target. Quinn Ewers, his first touchdown pass of the day, his 10th of the season. And never losing his shot, Shane Marshall. One of the great cameramen in sports television. And a tough guy players of what they were doing on each side of the ball. Ewers on target. They're not taking the foot off the gas, but college football playoff aspirations trying to make it a more impressive win. Catch made, Mitchell diving toward the end zone. The ball came out. He's ruled down at the one yard line. It makes a big tackle for a loss. Both sets of DBs will be tested in coverage and in run support today. Ewers has the football, gets it out, almost stood. He did throw a pick. Right to Gentry Williams, who jumped the route. Williams jumping this route. Watch the hesitation by Ewers. He's unsure, he's unsure. He throws it anyway. And a heck of a job by Williams undercutting that, getting in front of Mitchell, anticipating that slant. Great job by OU's defense on these first two plays. And now, what field position to start the game? He wanted to release it, but he senses pretty good coverage here by Stutzman. He gets into that throwing lane, so he's got to come off of it. Playing with tempo. Flag is down before the snap. Part of the equation when you try to get the defense Offense. disorganized. Five-yard Five penalty. Still first down. And now a first down throw across the middle, and the catch is made by Adonai Mitchell on the field for the Longhorns to wipe away that pass. Yeah, they're going to get him. They're going to bring this back. You can see how he's using that pre-snap movement to affect this defense and their communication. It's worked back to back. This time it'll have to come back. Number 62. Kirk, you've won 21 plays for the Texas. 109th in the nation, a touchdown percentage in the red zone. It's an area they've really emphasized. Viewers on the move. Flag is down. Catch. Ewers has a lot of time, which hasn't happened very often today, and delivers a long throw on the far side. And I Mitchell makes the catch. Longer playing safety. He's now playing corner. Ewers. Right there. Again, finds a man open. It's worthy in space. Pick it on the man you mentioned. Yeah, there you go. We know about Sark being an elite play caller. Look at this. Oh, in the oh, corner, it is caught. Touchdown. And an I Mitchell, and he was wide open. His fifth touchdown reception. Well, his name is special, and his mom gave it to him for a reason. He could have used some help on this one right here. Adonai, man, just got turned around to that outside of that corner. Ball thrown over his shoulder. Just a misread. This is better, and I think it makes this team better. Fourth and two. Ewers out of the gun. Look out. That one is incomplete. Fourth. Murphy's pass is a dart, but it's behind. With his backup quarterback, who's not been completely healthy this week in the game. Well, this is the second time in as many weeks we've seen Dana Holgerson with the... So second and 13, play action pass. Over the middle, wide open is Mitchell. Gain of 16. Linebackers freeze in the second level. Middle of field, wide open. Ball placed perfectly out in front. Murphy throws a deep ball into the end zone. He's got Mitchell, and it's caught. What a confidence builder for Malik Murphy after the turnovers, making a big play. With a route here by Adonai Mitchell, outstanding, and a lot of air underneath that football. They like to run behind those guys. Murphy, little half roll, fires into the end zone, almost picked off, knocked away by Garrett. Uh, this will keep the offense on the field. Pressure up the middle by Acera. We're going to roll that pocket, but an outstanding job by Camden Garrett. Happy. Murphy's pass. Pulled in. Mitchell bouncing off defenders and into the end zone for his second touchdown. Well, just a simple slam from Elite Murphy. And good strong hands here by Adonai Mitchell. 
rises up, snatches that ball out of the air, powers his way to the end zone for a second touchdown of the afternoon. Texas capitalizes after the takeaway. Number two, he's the key to the entire defense. Second down and 10 at the 49. Murphy out of the gun, play fake, looking over the middle, and he throws a strike. Is it well out of the backfield as well? C.J. Baxter in, here's Murphy, lobbing it deep. Murphy, caught, touchdown, Mitchell. And this young man has become a touchdown machine. Watch in the middle of his route, he's on the outside here, the left side of your screen, right here, he gives a little bit of a juke and that's what allows him to get by the safety 21 first down at the 18 here's Murphy going deep cut at the 35 Mitchell again fast wide receivers on the outside Murphy doing a great job and again Jacob Parrish is beat deep Adnai Mitchell great route and again Malik Murphy good anticipation puts the ball out in front Texas has scored on their last three possessions. Murphy pulls it back. Fires to the sideline. What a throw, Mitchell. It's, and Murphy right there just kind of threw it. I'm like, oh, he's throwing that away. But there's Mitchell, his outlet near the sideline. First gets back. Here's Murphy. Guns it. Nice throw in rhythm. And Murphy, here comes a blitz. Murphy lets it fly. Incomplete. Yeah, he was in the backfield and just so close, just out of the reach of that nine Mitchell, who would have had nothing but opportunity in front of him in that burn orn end zone, end zone. And even with pressure in your face, we've just seen that Malik Murphy has just been a little bit off. Arkeesian draw up now. First down at the 15. Texas at one time led this game 17 to nothing. Murphy throws the slant, and it's caught by Mitchell. Play fake, Murphy delivers Mitchell again, and he'll pick up a first down. Baxter in the game and running back. Murphy looking, Murphy sideline, complete at the 40 to Mitchell. Second half, they've got to lean on this run game, and they've still been able to churn out yards. 12th play of the drive, second and five of the 16. Murphy deflected and incomplete. Just jumped up in the air. Here's Mott right there. Watch Mott just go up. Hits him almost right in the forehead. Texas is lucky that that ball didn't get ricocheted more closely to a defender. It is second start. Murphy underneath that ball. Looks like it was tipped. And again gets up there. 38. Top of your screen. Doesn't even rush. He just gets up in those rush lanes. Blocked it with his face mask. 17 to nothing at one time. Third down and nine. Murphy's got to make a play right here. Murphy incomplete. Over. In fact, two turnovers. TC with a pick, and then they cough it up right back. Viewers back to throw. Looking. Firing. And he had Mitchell, but he overthrew him. Adonai Mitchell was there. But it was an errant pass. Ewers 0 for 3 now, passing a third down as Mitchell still jawing with some of the TCU fan base. Boy, Adonai Mitchell's been so good for Texas here. How about that route? Inside out, completely throws off Avery Helm in coverage. That's just a missed opportunity for Quinn Ewers. Adonai Mitchell got open. Ewers unable to find. Again, he has a rushing touchdown in this game. Six offensive linemen in there for Texas. They'll throw it. Ewers made. Mitchell adjusts. Makes the catch. Touchdown, Texas. Adonai Mitchell with his ninth touchdown of the year. And Texas extends the lead. Well, the route once again from Adonai Mitchell. Head fake inside. This pass delivered outside where only Mitchell can make a play on the football. Perfectly placed. A good strong hands to secure the catch. Hands underneath the football. Henry did that year. Mark Ingram did that year. They had ridiculous numbers. First down, Ewers looking downfield, taking a shot. Mitchell stopped running. And the pass is incomplete. From 20 plays inside 
uh, are in Texas territory and they don't have a point and they just turned it over on downs. Ewers throwing from the middle of his end zone gets rid of it at the last second going for Mitchell and the pass is on the money. Boy, has Ewers, uh, Ewers settled down here since that interception early in the game. A pickup of 20. Boy, and good protection from the end zone. A double move there on Adonai Mitchell. Long developing play too. Yeah, was not a quick hitter. He's pretty confident as quarterback though. Ewers off play action looking downfield and Boy, Adonai Mitchell just stopped. I don't know if he thought it was a run play. He stopped at midfield. He taps his chest as if to say, that's on me. Xavier Worthy. Will TCU come after Ewers? Ewers from the pocket, taking a shot. Adjusts to the ball on the fly and brings it in as he falls to the ground. Just incredible concentration on third and 12. Got to have a big play. That's exactly what Adonai Mitchell gives him. And that might have a pitch and catch because, in part, they're without Jonathan Brooks, who tore his ACL last week. And this one goes flailing. Very high praise. The Brock Purdy of the defense said his coaches. Quinn Ewers to throw. That's over the middle. It's a catch for Adonai Mitchell and the touchdown maker. Ewers scanning, running. Ewers wants to throw on the go. Flag comes in. It's into the end zone. And it's Adonai Mitchell for a touchdown if it stands. But the sophomore here, you're going to see him right here tangled up. And this is all about Dominic Orange. If Dominic Orange gives up on this play, and he's a 330-pound nose tackle, there's going to be no hold. But he doesn't. And that's an excellent call. You're just tugging Jersey right in full view. And Both defenses live here. Pressure coming. Ewers back foot into the end zone. Incomplete. Oh, these are two NFL dudes, chest to chest, hip to hip, everything, an inside vertical. And there's just no separation. And I Mitchell, one of the best in the country in contested catches. Mark second and nine. Ewers will throw. Far side, just the second catch. RPO again, everybody at the line of scrimmage is just running run action. That same counter action they ran earlier when Ewers knows if I've got space, if seven Verdon gives me a lane, I'm going to come up and I'm going to sling it. Third and nine, Ewers lobs it middle of the field, knocked away one handed. That is so hard to do against the Georgia transfer, but he doesn't hook his left arm. That is teaching tape. I think Haycock is waving and saying, put that one on the reel too, please. Collision. <laughs> First down throw, pitch and catch for Adonai Mitchell, and he's down at the 30-yard line. And he for Texas. Ewers. Deep ball. Down the sideline, it's short, and Mitchell got hit by Purchase as he tried to adjust. What do I have to do to get a touchdown tonight? One call back on a one-handed catch. An obvious pass interference early purchase is beat on the deep out and up. Pressure forced the poor throw. It's a big takeaway for the Longhorns. Viewers setting up off play action. And again, a receiver open in the middle of the field. Kerr helping with this rushing attack. Viewers throwing this tackle. Open in the middle of the field for another first down. Is Ewers to the air. Everybody covered. Ewers throws it out of the back of the end zone as he took a shot. Open late, but Quinn Ewers unable to find him, and the pressure gets home at the end of this pass play. Ewers throws it. Man open in the end zone. Touchdown, Texas. Adonai Mitchell. direction here from Steve Sarkeesian fakes the pitch boots Ewers out he gives a quick pump fake to the flat and Adonai Mitchell
Mitchell creating great separation in the back end against Corey Black as the Dr. Pepper pylon cam. It's a great shot. Goal here two years ago in the title game against Baylor. Ewers. Out wide for a short gain for Matt Austin. I mean, that's perplexing. At least stop it, even if they wind up upholding the call on the field. It certainly wasn't obvious that it was a catch. Long throw. That one put up for grabs by Ewers. And Oklahoma State get a stop for the first time today. They rush four. Ewers has a man wide. He tripped up, but another huge play for the Horns, 63 yards. And this was an incredible route and so well timed by Quinn Ewers. He threw the ball initially as A.D. Mitchell was bending on the out. And then they're just going to methodically continue to move and take only necessary risks at this point. Wally Gordon went to the Cowboys locker room. He has run back onto the field. Seemed to be moving well. Adonai Mitchell dropped for a loss by Cam Smith. Much better on defense. And this has been the goal since way before the season started. Win the Big 12 championship in the last year in the conference. Beautiful throw by Ewers. A nice hands catch by Mitchell. And a great route by Adonai Mitchell and well-timed by Ewers. Started his eyes to the right, works back to the left. Xavier Worthy, too, accounts for nearly 28% of the target share, so he is by far and away their number one guy. Ewers on third down and seven. Over the middle. Here's Adonai Mitchell. They're an offensive line for Texas. They had all five starters back from last year. That ball deflected and fluttered through the air. Baxter has a nice game. Out of the pistol now, a play fake by Ewers. He was surrounded, but still managed to get it off. In. And it'll kind of start their offense in a good way, making sure everyone's involved. Sarkeesian is the play caller. The fake to Baxter, another deflected pass. Got his hands on that one. And a good job by Hampton. You see the eyes in the backfield. Texas a heavy RPO team. That's actually a called run. Ewers sees the safety come down. He decides to pull it, tries to throw it around. Ewers out of the shotgun. Quinn has another pass batted out of the air. 6-4, 324, and you flinch. It's going to be difficult to go unnoticed. 68,791 here tonight. That's a sellout in the Superdome. Adonai Mitchell. 66 yards and penalties. They average 51 per game coming in, middle of the pack in the country. Here's Adonai Mitchell. They faked it to him, and it is caught. Adonai Mitchell with yet another catch in a college football playoff game. Look for a moment like he might have jumped too early, but he still made the catch with Elijah Jackson in coverage. Perfectly placed football by Quinn Ewers high into the back shoulder where his six foot four wide receiver on the outside can go up, time it perfectly, and reel it in. Good terrific, thing he has some hang time. Terrific execution there and a massive score for the Longhorns. All right. <laughs> Here's Ewers. They need a lot and they need it fast. That is. Adonai Mitchell is at the top of the screen in press coverage. Let's see if they get a one-on-one -on -one look. They'll take advantage of it. And Sanders is back on the field at the left end of the line. They lob it up for Mitchell in one-on-one -on -one coverage. No timeouts. The clock's running. They're down by six. 25 seconds to go. To the end zone and incomplete. Oh. When Ewers trying to take advantage of the significant mismatch that is A.D. Mitchell, five is the direction I'm looking is at the top of the screen. Second and 11 from the 13-yard line, under 10 seconds to go. Ewers back of the end zone, incomplete, trying to get it to Mitchell. Could it get any more dramatic? Mish Powell off the left side, unblocked. 
And Quinn Ewers just gets rid of it before that knee hits the ground. And as you can see, one second remaining on the clock. We're barring a penalty. This is it. Texas trailing all night long. One last chance to advance to the national championship game. Ewers loves it up, and it is incomplete. Intended for Mitchell. Elijah Jackson had the coverage. Ten points or less. Just a terrific play by Elijah Jackson. His eyes are in the backfield the entire time. He sees the ball leave Quinn Ewer's hands. He tracks it the whole way. He times his jump perfectly and swats it away to secure the victory. You cannot play the fade any better than that on a critical down and distance. Well executed on a game that didn't appear like it was going to have drama at the finish. It delivers with a terrific, terrific play defensively.